Hi, good day. The first chapter of our IS-102 course talks about how we currently live and how we will live in the future in this so-called network-centric world. Allow me to reiterate some topics which were discussed during the orientation. To start, these items are what you're going to be acquainted with. In Chapter 1, you will learn what, is, what network is, describe how networks impact our daily lives, describe the function of data network in human network, identify the key components of any data network, identify the opportunities and challenges by the converged network, and lastly, you, are, you will be able to describe the characteristics of network architectures. These are the fault tolerance, the scalability, quality of service, and uh, security. So, in a broader perspective, networking is the exchange of information and ideas among people with common profession or special interest, usually in an informal social setting. So networking sometimes begins with a single point of common ground. So some of you may associate this term into a networking businesses, the pyramiding scheme type of business, the Avon, the front row to name to name a few. But in ICT perspective, and in our subject's perspective, we will define network and let's append the computer network. So it is defined as a connection of two or more computers via communication channel for the purpose of sharing files and resources such as printers, scanners, and other peripheral devices. The term connection conforms to the communication or interaction so that an information is transported from one end to the other. This connection cannot be possible without the communication channel. It refers to a tool or a medium that the network devices use to enable interaction between devices. Some best examples of channels or pathways are the wireless and wired connections. Using our phones, we can communicate to our friends when we enable the Wi-Fi features of our phones to connect to any available hotspots. Using our phones or our mobile phones, we can enable the data feature for us to connect to our internet service providers, say the Smart, the PLDT, the Globe, and etc. Bluetooth and infrared or some other channels if you wanted to transfer files to a nearer devices. And these days, there are available sharing applications, which is more fast and convenient in terms of data transfer. So if you are familiar with ShareIt and other uh, related tools. All right, so network um, supports the people in many ways right in this chapter we will be highlighting four types of supports that the network offers us right so first of the network supports the way we live with the advent of technology now we can decide what to wear using the online current weather conditions Using the Google Maps, we can find the least congested route to our destinations now by displaying whether the traffic video from your webcam. Now we can check our bank balance and pay bills electronically. So this is very timely because um, during the pandemic, um, we would be risking our health no kung maggunit-gunit ta og mga kwarta nga wa ta kabalo asa tugikan of course na ay mga um a virus ang atong mga a paper bills another is we can receive and send email or make an internet phone calls all right so we, now we can obtain health information and nutritional advices from experts all over the world we can download any information that we wanted to download we can post and share your images 
your experiences with friends or with the world via the social media platforms. So this and other um, services, no, nga possibly wala na mention sa kaninga slides, are um, the supports nga gina offer sa ato ni network on how we live. Second support that our services that the network is supporting us is it supports the way we learn. So as of the moment, we have this online instructional materials, we have portals, and we have collaboration tools where we can use when we conduct our classes. So we have the Google Meet, we have the Zoom, and all other mga resources, right? So um, um, you can... Make you can make use of different sources, no, relative to the subject ngi ngi discuss in yung teacher. So dili na jud kailangan nga mag depend mo sa kung unsa ihatag sa inyong teacher because these are all available na sa ato ang over the network. Third support is the network supports the way we live. Um, we can do the remote access. Now, in this time of pandemic, your professors are working at home while, uh, while the necessary data are located in the de uh, in the data at the data centers of the schools. We also have the multiple resources. Again, as mentioned, um, daghan na nga mga sources ang pwede na to magamit for us to be efficient and effective in our work space. The last support that the network is offering us is it supports the way we play. We have the online games, online entertainment, instant messaging, and online travels. So if you compare this way back 10 to 20 years, different kaayo ang type of games nga gina, um, gina facilitate nato or kung asa ta naga asa ta involved no in terms of gaming usually gakahugaw hugaw pa ta para lang ma-enjoy ta sa game but these days pwede ra nga naatara narata sa ato ang kwarto and then gato bang kasi mong mobile phones and your and your laptops and then you can be entertained but again as IS professionals or IT professionals you should be good enough to identify what are the disadvantages and advantages of using uh, these applications. And I hope that you will focus more on the advantages, no? All right, so uh, these are the four items nga gina support, nga gina offer sa ato ni network, no? So network supports the way we live, the way, the way, the way we play, the way we learn, and the, tong isa, the way we work. All right, so now let's proceed to the next subtopic. I will focus on what is communication. So uh, communication in our daily lives takes many forms and happens in many environment. And every time that we wanted to initiate communication, lahat or each situation has its corresponding expected behavior and style. So when we say communication, it's typically an exchange of information or news. It's connecting uh, people and places, right? So for us to have this quality communication, we should consider some components you now for us to be able to transmit the information we wanted to be transmitted, all right? So these are the components. So again, for us to have equality communication, so we need to establish the rules. So establishing the rules or agreements to govern the conversation. So in this part, so you have to um, agree on what type of language you will be using. Say for instance, mag English ba mo or mag Filipino ba mo or mag Bisaya ba mo. So, kana siya nga mga rules, kailangan siya i-follow. So, these rules or protocols, again, must be followed for the message to be successfully delivered and understood. So, imagine what will happen if I am talking in Taglish and then kamo mga Japanese people. 
So for sure, dili ta magkasinabot. So again, for, for, for a successful communication, for equality communication, there should be a rules nga dapat ma-establish o dapat i-govern and dapat um, i-follow sa mga involved sa communication. All right. So what are these protocols that govern successful communications? So first, you need to identify the sender and the receiver, right? Sometimes na ay mga miscommunication because na ay information and then wala na, wala, wala na klaro, wala na clear out kung kinsa to padulong, kinsa mo dawat atong nga information. Now imagine your mobile phones. So if if pag send ka og message or nag-create ka og message nga I love you, of course you need to identify para kang kinsa to. Dili man nimo gamiton ang send to all friends, no, to all contacts na nga nga, nga message if it is intended only to one or two of your family members, right? Second protocol is we need to agree upon the method of communication. So it could be face to face, telephone, letters or photographs. And what else? Um, you, we need to use common language and grammar. Also, we need to consider the speed and timing of delivery. And of course, the confirmation and acknowledgement. So, unsa if ma feel ninyo if nakagi send nga message, nakagi ask nga questions, and then will I respond dito sa tao nga imuhang send then, right? Now, so the quality of communication is affected by the two factors. Now, again, sometimes, uh, walay quality and communication or the communication is not successful Successful because of two factors. We have the external factors. The other is the internal factors. So, part of the external factors, so, le, le, uh, ang, atong mindset, ibutang nato nga computer's perspective na taha, computer network's per perspective. So, on the part of external factors, we will consider the quality of the pathway between the sender and the recipient. So, when we talk of pathway, mauta siya itong dimension sa, sa, during sa orientation. Pathway means the channels. It could be the wire or wireless. Now, depende sa inyong sa inyong gigamit kung asa ka as of the moment. So, pasabot, uh, diba, diba, kabantay mo nga sa sa Facebook, daghang kay postings like a PLDT na unsa naman ka nagkamang ang signal. So that's an external quality no relative to the pathway or the channel or the medium magigamit ninyo for communication. Another, the number of times the message has to change form. Alright, so anong ibig sabihin nito? Imagine that our computing devices or our network devices can only understand the machine language. So, on saning machine language based sa inyong um, ITE 10, these are the zeros and ones, the coding, no? Pasabot ka ng message na to in a form of text, in a form of characters, this has to be changed, uh, this has to be converted into a format na readable sa atong mga devices. And take note how many times ang inyong message kailangan mag-change of form. Imagine, nakakaroon sa inyong balay and then you are using the the smart as smart as as your internet service provider and you wanted to send the message to a globe subscriber nga located sa US all right so imagine kapila mag change og format ang imuhang um, message para lang ma send siya successfully sa recipient Another, the number of times the message has to be redirected. So, this is in connection to the bullet number two. Um, from the Philippines, muagi na siya sa server sa smart. And from the sa tower or sabi na, sa, sa server sa smart na to, mangita na po na siya ang route so that ma-determine niya ang nearest path padulong yun dito sa imuhang destination. So, from there, mag-change siya format ma-redirect siya, niya mapasa na po siya sa lain. So, kay para, para, para matabangan na to ang mga devices to identify asa padulong, asa ang next hop, asa siya next mo ambak, 
kailangan to i-retransform, kailangan i-convert na po niya itong messages niya mo into a format na readable sa machine. Once nabasa na niya, i-convert na po niya to into a format nga makasabot ang mga pathways na to, no? That's in a form of signals, in a form of um, light or whatever, alright? So, mo ni siya, sometimes ang mga factors, nga nung, wa may niabot nga message sa ako, ah, nga nung, nga nung imo man kong gipangayuan ani nga butang, right? So, yun, dili successful ang communication because of these types, these external factors. What else? The number of other messages being transmitted simultaneously on the com communication network. So, during communication, dili lang ikaw ang kapadala og message. Dili lang ikaw ang gasend og I love you to to all your contacts. No, there are other people using the network. So, na ay chances nga matiming nga nga ang imong message dito nga part ni fail ang network. So, wala siya ni abot sa, uh, sa iyahang recipient. Another is the amount of time allotted for successful communication. So, our, the transmission of our information, na lang siya limit, no? Gina-count na, gina, gina, gina count na siya into 16 counts. So, every time nga mo jump na ang imong message to the next node or to the next devices, mo less nag one ang iyahang counts. So, kapag ka abot na ng 16 or 15 counts nga pa siya niabot sa iyang intended destination, ma-drop na na ang message. So, kailangan na po na to i-reestablish ang connection or send na po ka otro. That is kung na notification nga wala na send ang imong message. But there are types of communication manggod nga wala feedback. Like for instance, kaning telephone, kaning landline. Kung matawag ka, kalit lang siyang tutot. So, wala wala notification nga, ay, Dili available ang pikas ng end. No? So, mga ganyan. So, kanisya nga mga items, i-discuss na to further sa next nga mga chapters. Discuss na to in detail. So, another factor nga nung dili successful ang communication is through the internal factors. So, katong external sa outside man sa imong message. When we talk of internal, this conforms to the message itself. Like, for instance, dako, ragid kayo ang imuhang message. So, na ay possibility nga di siya masend. Another is the complexity of the message. And, of course, the importance of the message. It might be nga na ay other nga mga messages nga mas importante o mas um, mauto siya giuna sa atong network. Alright, so these are the internal and external factors that could possibly hamper no the quality of communication so uh, so sabto na to siya because uh, naagi chances nga mahitabo ni sa ato nga may experience nato ni siya and we need to be mindful nga si network ing anaka complicated ang iyang trabaho no as I ITIS professionals dapat ti na mo magreklamo kay mao ni siya ang mga giagian niya mao ni nga mga steps mao ni nga mga procedure ang 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 agihan sa inyong data, sa information nga kailangan ninyo i-transfer para lang successfully maabot siya sa recipient. Alright, so let's proceed to the network as a platform. So these are the elements of the network, meaning to say when we talk of elements, this has to be completed. Kaninga mga, mga, mga elements should be available so that ang network nato mo function gid siya efficiently sa iyahang function. Alright, we have the rules, the medium, the messages, and devices. When we talk of rules, mo na to siya atang dimension earlier, kailangan na alang tay um, agreement nga mauni siya, nga mga, mga um, protocols ang atong gamiton, dapat mag-agree ta on some rules. And then, when we talk of medium, we will decide or dapat ma-familiarize ninyo unsa sa'y gamito na to nga medium or channel. Um, magabit pa tag wireless or wired, but kana silang duha ginagamit gid na siya um, during sa inyuhang um, uh, on the communication nga part sa network. We also have the messages. And the devices, when we talk of devices, these are the networking devices that starts from the end devices up to the internet working devices. No, na ay mga, 
um, middleware ng mga devices nga mo ay mo facilitate sa ato ang message para maka-travel siya across the network. When we talk of end devices, these are um, the devices nga mo ay mo initiate or mo create sa message or or mo ay mo dawat sa message. So during the on our laboratory activities, so we will be using these types of terms and symbols. So in the next slide na yung mga symbols dito, nata yung switch. This is the most common device for interconnecting local area network. Local lang ha, not one ha, not wide area network. We also have firewall. It provides security to our network. And we also have a router. It will help direct messages as they travel across the network. So, kaning router, mauna ni siya ang hinungdan nga nung makakonect nata sa wide area network. Alright? Meaning to say, ang imong switch na ginagamit sa local area network will be connected to your router so that it can access the world, uh, the, the wide area network. We also have wireless router. This is a specific type of router found in home networks. We also have symbols for cloud. It means, kung naakay makita nga cloud, pasabot, lagyo na ginang imong connection. We also have serial links. Alright. So, these are these um, equivalent symbols. And mauni siya nga mga symbols ang atong gamiton during the laboratory. Kung magamit na sa katong simulator na ito, nga packet tracer. It may be, uh, kung ano man na siya, kung, kung bisag, um, Mobile packet tracer among gamit or katong for desktop, same nga mga symbols. Again, this is a symbol for computer desktop. This is for laptop servers, internet protocol phone. This is for LAN media. But sa packet tracer, nato black ang color ani. This is a symbol for wireless, symbol for one, for cloud, wireless, the router. And then the router, we also have firewall and the LAN switches. Alright. Okay. So, um, in terms of network connections, again, as mentioned, no, natay do haka classy nga network connection. Kung makita ninyo, this, in this, in the upper part, mo ni siya atong ginatawag nga wired networks or wired connection. So, it uses physical cables to connect devices. So, this is the type of connector yung ginagamit if we want, if we are using a wired connection. So, from your desktop, it is connected to your router via a wired. So, kung saan na siya nga wired, nga wired, naputay chapter intended for that, no? So, your mobile phone uh, I mean, the, the IP phones and your televisions no, are still connected via wired networks. So, below, naputay ginatawag ng wireless network. It uses radio waves. No? Some, uh, one example of the wireless nga technology is radio waves. So, to communicate between devices. So, but then, although wireless siya, so mag-expect ka nga, ang wireless ni mga device dito, still connected nga po na siya sa wired devices, no? To enable the functionality sa imong wireless, dapat na ay isa ka device po diha nga connected sa imong wireless. So, katong uban, katong mga devices, mga end devices ni mo sa palibot are connected na to your wireless devices through the wired devices, no? Nga gina-provide nga signal dito pa dulong sa wireless. Alright. Okay. So, kani siya, mauni siya ang mga examples of the protocols nga na-mention nato earlier. So, these are the rules, the protocols, and na mga services. So, when we talk of services, mauni siya ang mga activities nga gina-activate nato while we are online or while, while connected to sa network. ba? So, for, in for instance, nag-click ka sa imuhang browser like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Mozilla Firefox, the first thing you would do is to um, uh, type in your the, the URL kung asa ka gusto mo ito, liba? Like www.google.com if you wanted to search anything, no? Or www.facebook.com if you want to search, uh, you want to go to Facebook. 
So again, money siya ang mga activities nga gina-activate na to. Sometimes, magdungan pa gini silang tanan, no? Kung connected sa internet. Gagamit ka sa World Wide Web. And of course, say for instance, nag-activate ka sa gmail.com. And what else? Na kay IM, nag-chat ka, o niya nanawag pagid ka. So, kaning mga activities nga itong gina-facilitate? No, wala lang din nabutang ang gaming, but then there are services and there are protocols intended for gaming, for playing music, for 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 video streaming. Naputo siya, no? These are just some of the services and some of the protocols na ginagamit na to. Dili ni siya complete. Alright? So, for the, the triple W, money nga protocol iyang gigamit kung makabantay mo. Every time mo activate ang triple W, na din siya makabutang dito ng HTTP. That conforms to the hypertext transport protocol. When we try to email our outputs, so, ang equivalent protocol na ginagamit ana is SMTP and POP. The moment nga mag-chat ta, kanipod nga mga protocols ang ginagamit ni network ana. The moment nga magtawag ta, gamit ang net network, maupod ni siya nga mga protocol. Again, as mentioned, kani are just some of the many activities and many protocols nga available over the internet. Na? And himay-himay yun na to na sila um, later on. Alright? So, asa ta pa dulong da yun, ano no? So, natay term nga converged network. So, this is from a multiple network to a converged network. Kasi pa sabot, ani. So, before, katong early pa kayong development sa atong mga, sa, atong, sa, sa technology, sa network technology, sing ani ang nga nahitabo. Natay ginatawag og multiple networks. Wherein, if you are using a television, you can only connect, you can only understand magkasinabot ng pud sila sa kaugalingon niya, sa kapareho niya nga, um, ano siya niya? Yeah, computer na niya siya. So, so kung nakay computer, makakonect lang siya sa computer. If nakay telephone, makakommunicate lang pud siya sa telephone. Kung nakay television, kaya lang pud niya makakommunicate sa ihang uh, antenna or parabolic antenna. So, yung ani siya, uh, different ang ilang platforms because the the desktop itself has hit its own rules, agreement, and standards. Kung mo gamit pagkag telephone, na po siya ikaw galingon nga ginasunod nga rules, agreement, and standards. If you are using your television, na po siya ikaw galingon nga uh, rules, agreement, and standards. So, again, nakita sa atong mga developers, sa mga engineers, nga na ay problema if magpabilin nga multiple networks ang ato ang world, right? That's the reason nga naing ani siya. So, it came to a point nga ang desktop, ang telephone, ang television, nag-agree sila to use the, the same standards, alright? Same agreement o same nga rules. So, kung mabantayan ninyo as of the moment, if you're using your, your, your desktop, you can now make a call to a mobile phone or a, or a landline. So, karon ang ato ang television, pwede na ka mag-internet. Nga before, kaya lang ni mabuhatan sa desktop, right? So, karon sa atong mobile phones, before for calling and texting lang na siya. But with the advent of Androids and other ng mga applications, kaya na nato mag-watch TV sa atong mobile phones, no? So, this is the so-called Converged Network, wherein... Again, naan na lang tayo isa ka standard nga gina-follow, naan na lang tayo isa ka agreement nga gina-follow para lang mag-interconnect, no? Ang ato ang mga devices and we can we uh, and it enables the transfer of of information to a different platforms of different nga mga devices. All right? Okay. So, yun yung converge network. Now, uh, let's proceed to the last topic, no? So, nga nung mong kaya man to tanan ni, ni network? Nga nung kaya ni i-facilitate tanan request na to? I wanted to look for um, the term education, for instance. Ako ang Google search engine. Nga nung magawas man ang search engine. Nga nung pag mo click ko sa akong contact, mo mangita ko sa akong mobile phone, o contacts sa akong parents, niya i- 
click na ko ang call, maka-call man siya, nga na makatubag man ang PCAS nga end, right? So, that's part of the network ng mga functionalities, right? So, now let's talk about the network architecture. Again, nga nung kaya tanan to sa atong network. First of is, natay ginatawag ang fault tolerance or fault tolerance. So, kaya niya i-facilitate tanan nga request na to, tanan nga operations na to, tanan nga gi-expect na to because of fault tolerance. So, this is um, one that limits the impact of hardware or software failures and can recover quickly when such failure happens. So, sa mahitabo sa fault tolerant, ang sa'yo ginabuhat sa atong network every time na ay fault nga mahitabo, nga ma-encounter niya. So, if one links or path fails, processes ensure that messages can be instantly routed over a different link transparent to the user on either end. Alright, so the moment nga mo drop or, or down ang iyang pathway, si network, kaya niya mo jump to a link, into a, a pathway nga na ay signal to enable the transfer of information nga gusto na to ipaabot sa recipient. So with that case, successful gihapon ang communication. Maugin niya ang ginatry hard sa atong network nga maka-offer siya of quality communication. Second part of the network architecture is we have the scalability. Our network can expand quick, quickly to support new users and applications without impacting the performance of the services being delivered to the existing user. So, for instance, we have five laboratories in CSU. Kung mo kabalo natay lima ka laboratories. I don't know kung five pa ba. But then, if we wanted to make the sixth laboratory, we can still do that because we have this term scalability. So, imagine po na ka sa uh, coffee shop and then you ask for the network password nga namang na, na-allow po mangyid ka nga makakonect sa ilang Wi-Fi. No? That's part of the scalability nga, nga function ni network na to or nga feature. Next is Nashay security. Security and privacy expectations that results from the use of internet works to exchange confidential and business critical information. All right, the, the, the point here is that ang network na to, ga-offer siya og security, so dili dapat na mahadlock na um, on subscribing, uh, subs uh, engaging into network kay gin-offer na na niya sa ato. Ah. But then again, as IT and IS professionals, you should be good enough to to assess kung okay ba ni siya ng application. Kaya basin bag, with, with using the application, dito na noon ka na hack, dito na noon nakawatan ng imong credit card, ay na charge ng bila ka thousands. Alright? And then the last net part of network architecture is the quality of service. So, mo siya again, ang iyahag yung gina, gina, <clears throat> gina uh, desire sa atong network is to provide quality of service. Alright. So what else? Ano pa na adin he sa network architecture? So our network is using classification. So ga assign siya og prioritization. So if ma detect niya nga mas importante ni nga message, hatagan niya nag high priority. But if less ang priority, hatagan po niya mag assign po siya a uh, priority number nga uh, dili kayo importante ni siya nga messages. Alright? So, examples of priority decision for an organization natay ginatawag time sensitive communication. So kailangan ni increase na to ang priority ani sa iya ha. For instance, nanawag ka sa phone gamit ang IP phone. So hatagan nato siya high priority. Naapod tay mga non-time sensitive communication. So pwede na to na siya i-decrease ang priority like nag-retrieve lang ka sa imong email, nag-open ka og website. So that is part of the non-time sensitive communication so i lessen nato ang priority we also have high importance to organization ng mga data i increase po nato ang priority ana say for instance enrollment system so sometimes i don't know kung nan i siguro di mo maka experience because you are second year no but during the face to face kung magpila na ang mga enrollees before o sa high matanggong may because nagdown ang server no uh, while nag-enrollment, ang uban po dito nga mga tao di ay kay nag-YouTube. So, naay na ay mahati ang, ang bandwidth sa imuhang network. So, muhinay ang katong supposedly high importance to organization nga mga activities. 
Alright, so we also have mga undesirable communication. So, i-decrease na to ang priority sana sa iya. Alright, so mauna yata to ang pinaka-core sa ato ang um, topic. So, thank you so much for listening. And uh, good morning.